Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this second episode of Souls of Fire, inspiration for awakened entrepreneurs. My name is Ona Christie, and this week we're going to be looking at how can we attract more financial wealth and specifically revenue into your business and your life. And this really comes at the tail of the, the message that I released last Sunday. That message was really about mastering your vibration and working with like yourself as a magnetic being. Okay. And so I'm going to reiterate some of the message from that because it really does relate to our ability to bring in wealth. Okay. So the first first part of that message was that we live in a responsive universe and that we are magnetic beings, okay? And that we are constantly calling in something at every moment. Okay, so it's really, really important that we kind of watch our vibration because that really affects what we're capable of calling in or what we are calling in, okay? And one of the things to be aware of is that we're, we're usually, any kind of being is going to have, there's this, this aspect of inertia, right, that we tend to settle into a particular vibration. And we can settle into a lower vibration or we can settle into a higher vibration, but to get into that higher vibration, we have to work at it. And the working at it calls on our fire element, right? Our, our solar plexus, plexus chakra to be able to have the passion within and to take the action that, that is needed to do whatever shift we have to make, okay? But the danger is that we can get into that state of activity and that in itself, we can, we can end up kind of getting this sort of stuckness in the activity itself. So if you've ever gotten into that, that phase of, you know, constantly the mind going or constant planning, or if you feel like you're spinning your wheels, okay, what can happen as entrepreneurs is we can start to fixate on worry and lack. So we see that there's not enough revenue coming in and we start to think about that. Well, yes, of course, we need to think about that. We need to take the action that we need to take in order to get that money flowing again. But when we start fixating on the lack and the worry, it what it does is it can spur us into action that keeps us in that loop of not bringing in the revenue, right? Because we're constantly acting and and really without bringing in the vibration that we need to, okay, which is the higher vibration of abundance and gratitude, okay? So when I tuned in to my guidance and really asked about this, okay, here's the message I got. It said to start getting very clear on specific avenues for revenue. Make a list of what you can do that is fun and that brings in revenue, okay? Then prioritize that list and start taking action. All right, so this is just a, a really simple matter of okay, let's be honest with ourselves. What do we like to do? Okay, because there's so often that we sort of get this like, oh, I should be doing this. I should be doing that, right? Um, and, and, and really get honest. It's like there's a million ways that you can bring in more cash flow, right? What feels good? What would be fun for you to do, okay? And just make a list of things, of different possibilities, and then choose, okay, which one would be, first of all, fun, and also would bring in the money that you need, okay? And then prioritize. It's like, which one do you want to do? Which one do you want to start with? Pick that one thing, one thing at a time. Pick the one thing that excites you the most and creates significant revenue and focus on that revenue stream until it manifests. Okay, there's a tendency for creative people, especially to, you know, you have the idea and you take the action on it, but not to follow through long enough to even determine whether it's going to work for you. Okay, so really focus on that revenue stream 
and then assess after you've given it you know some decent time is it really working for you then assess whether you want to pursue it further but focus on one thing at a time okay and they say don't scatter yourself consolidate so well maybe that's not your problem maybe it's not too much activity maybe it is inertia okay again <laughs> inertia is like procrastination right um, and sometimes that comes from a lack of clarity it's like well, what do i do next and if you're not quite sure what to do next um you know again writing it down what is it that you really want to manifest how, how much money do you want to manifest right now okay what do you need maybe it's five thousand dollars right and okay so what feels fun <laughs> Do you want to bring in three new clients? Do you want to do a class? You know, what feels good? Choose that and then determining, well, what's the next step? And if you look at my last video from last week, we, it was all about that process of, of determining what to do. All right. So I hope this has been helpful. I would love to hear your thoughts. And also, like, what are your biggest issues? in your business or if there's something that you feel would be helpful to you would love to hear about that in the comments below if you have a business introduce yourself would love to hear about that and also if you are feeling like I, I just can't find that clarity on my own sometimes it really helps to have a, a third party or a coach who can take a look and give you you know, help you get that clarity that's sometimes really, really hard to get when we're really too close to our own business. Um, that is something that I do for people. If you'd be interested in working with me or at least discussing it, there's a link in the description for a discovery call. And uh, regardless, have a wonderful week and we'll catch you next time.